So good morning again, you And now I would like to share the answers with you for the lesson today of explaining author's purpose and word choice. So, question one. Hopefully you realise that he was entertaining us, the author, or she, sorry, was entertaining us with Jim and how he got excited about the snow. So it was a short story and stories are mostly written for entertainment. It was exciting and hopefully fun to read, especially when we've had the snow recently. Number two, the author is writing about all the benefits of owning a pet. So you should have chosen C, persuasion, and that was your explanation of why they only write about all the good things and not any of the things that could be seen as a problem. Question three, it's an information text. So the author is writing to inform. The author is giving the facts about the traffic lights, explaining what the colors mean. And then we move on to the poem and hopefully you've got some of these answers here. Hopefully all of them. So what do you think about the words clatter and tramp of hooves? Well, hopefully you said something like, they make you think of banging or a loud noise and he wants to describe the rain as loud. The author compares the gushing rain in the gutter to a river, because if you go back and you see, you read this bit here all the way down, like a river down the gutter it roars. How is the word throat effective? I think this was probably the trickiest of the questions. I think you just have to think about a, a spout, like you have on a watering can, and then think of the throat and where the throat sits in the mouth. So you've got to create an image of coming up from deep inside the spout and it demonstrates movement. It's really thinking about how the water is having to work its way up and how it's moving quickly. Do you think the author likes rain? Yes, I think we can definitely say he does because he begins the poem with how beautiful is the rain and he also ends it with the welcome rain, meaning he's glad that it's here. Okay. Right, I look forward to reading your questions and see you tomorrow for Friday's reading. Bye-bye.